Understanding Artificial Intelligence, a comprehensive introduction. Welcome to our AI series. Over the next 30 episodes, we will explore the fascinating world of artificial intelligence, or AI for short. Whether you're a beginner or just curious about the technology that's shaping our future, this series will help you understand what AI is, how it works, and why it's important. In today's episode, we're going to start at the beginning. We'll cover what artificial intelligence is, where it came from, and the basic ideas behind it. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid foundation in AI that will help you as we dive deeper into more complex topics in future episodes. What is artificial intelligence? Let's start with a simple question. What is artificial intelligence? AI is a branch of computer science that aims to create machines or software that can perform tasks that normally require human intelligence. These tasks include things like recognizing images, understanding speech, making decisions, and even translating languages. Think of AI as a smart assistant that can learn from data, make decisions based on that data, and improve its performance over time. Unlike traditional computer programs that need specific instructions for every task, AI can figure out how to solve problems on its own, much like how a human learns from experience. The difference between narrow AI and general AI, AI can be divided into two main types, narrow AI and general AI. Narrow AI is designed to perform a specific task. For example, when you ask your smartphone's voice assistant to set an alarm, recognize your voice and respond, that's narrow AI at work. It's focused on doing one thing really well, but it can't do anything outside of that specific task. General AI, on the other hand, is a more advanced concept. It would be an AI that can perform any intellectual task that a human can do. Imagine an AI that not only sets your alarm, but also writes a novel, paints a picture, or invents new technology, all on its own. While this type of AI is still science fiction, researchers are working toward it, but it's much more complex and challenging than narrow AI. A brief history of artificial intelligence. Now, let's take a quick journey back in time to understand how AI came to be. The idea of machines that can think dates back to ancient times, when myths and stories were filled with intelligent robots and mechanical beings. But the modern history of AI really began in the mid-20th century. In 1956, a group of scientists, including John McCarthy, Marvin Minsky, and Claude Shannon, organized a conference at Dartmouth College. This event is often considered the birth of AI as a field of study, because it was here that the term artificial intelligence was coined. The idea was to explore how machines could be made to think like humans. Over the next few decades, AI research went through ups and downs, often referred to as AI winters and AI springs. During AI winters, progress slowed down due to lack of funding and interest. But during AI springs, new discoveries reignited excitement in the field. One of the early successes in AI was the development of expert systems in the 1970s and 1980s. These were programs designed to mimic the decision-making abilities of human experts in specific fields, like medicine or engineering. Although these systems were impressive for their time, they were limited by the amount of knowledge they could handle and the complexity of the tasks they could perform. Fast forward to the 21st century, and AI began to experience a new wave of growth, driven by advances in computing power, access to large amounts of data, and new techniques like machine learning and deep learning. Today, AI is everywhere from search engines that predict what you're going to type, to recommendation systems that suggest what movies to watch, to self-driving cars navigating busy streets. How does AI work? At its core, AI works by processing data and learning from it. But how exactly does it do that? The answer lies in machine learning, a key component of AI. Machine learning is a method that allows computers to learn from data without being explicitly programmed. Think of it as teaching a computer by showing it examples rather than giving it a step-by-step -step set of instructions. For example, instead of telling a computer exactly what a cat looks like, you would show it thousands of pictures of cats. The computer then analyzes these images and learns to recognize patterns, like the shape of the ears, the size of the eyes, and the way the fur is arranged. Once it has learned these patterns, it can identify a cat in new pictures it has never seen before. There are three main types of machine learning. Supervised learning, this is like a teacher-student relationship. The computer is trained on a labeled data set where the correct answers are provided. For example, if you want the computer to recognize different animals, you would provide a data set with images labeled cat, dog, bird, and so on. The computer learns to associate the features of the images with the correct labels and then applies this knowledge to new unlabeled images. Unsupervised learning. Here, the computer is given data without any labels 
and has to figure out the patterns on its own. It's like giving a student a puzzle without the picture on the box. For example, if you give the computer a bunch of photos of animals without telling it what they are, it might group the images into clusters based on similarities, like all the four-legged animals in one group and all the birds in another. Reinforcement learning. We touched on this in our previous episode. In reinforcement learning, the computer learns by making decisions and receiving feedback in the form of rewards or penalties. Think of it as trial and error. The computer tries different actions and learns to choose the ones that lead to the best outcomes. Neural networks and deep learning. A key technology behind the recent success of AI is deep learning, which is a type of machine learning that uses neural networks with many layers. But what exactly is a neural network? Imagine a neural network is a simplified model of the human brain. It's made up of layers of nodes, called neurons, that are connected to each other. Each neuron takes in information, processes it, and passes it on to the next layer. The more layers there are, the more complex patterns the network can recognize. For example, let's say you're trying to teach a neural network to recognize handwritten numbers. The first layer might look for simple shapes like lines and curves. The next layer might combine those shapes to recognize parts of a number, like the loop in an eight or the straight line in a one. By the time the information reaches the final layer, the network has enough information to say, this is a three or this is a seven. Deep learning has been especially successful in tasks like image and speech recognition, where it's important to recognize complex patterns. It's why your phone can understand your voice commands and why social media platforms can automatically tag your friends in photos. The impact of AI on society. AI is not just a technology, it's a transformative force that is reshaping our world in ways we might not even realize. Let's explore some of the areas where AI is making a big impact. Healthcare. AI is revolutionizing healthcare by helping doctors diagnose diseases more accurately and develop personalized treatment plans. For example, AI can analyze medical images like x-rays and MRIs to detect conditions like cancer at an early stage. It can also help doctors predict which treatments will be most effective for individual patients based on their medical history. Finance. In the financial sector, AI is being used for everything from detecting fraud to managing investments. Algorithms can analyze vast amounts of financial data in real time, identifying suspicious transactions that might indicate fraud. AI is also used in algorithmic trading, where computers buy and sell stocks at speeds and with strategies that are impossible for humans to match. Transportation. Self-driving cars are one of the most talked about applications of AI. These vehicles use AI to navigate roads, avoid obstacles, and make split-second decisions to ensure the safety of passengers and pedestrians. While fully autonomous cars are still in development, AI is already being used in features like adaptive cruise control and automated parking. Entertainment. AI is also changing the way we consume entertainment. Streaming services like Netflix and Spotify use AI to recommend movies, shows, and music based on your preferences. These recommendations are powered by algorithms that analyze your viewing or listening history to suggest content you might enjoy. Ethical considerations of AI. With all the benefits that AI brings, it's also important to consider the ethical and societal implications. As AI becomes more powerful and more integrated into our lives, it raises questions about privacy, bias, and the impact on jobs. Privacy. AI systems often rely on large amounts of personal data to function effectively. For example, a recommendation system might analyze your viewing history to suggest movies you'll like. But this raises concerns about how that data is collected, stored, and used. Who has access to your data? And how is it being protected? Bias. AI systems are only as good as the data they're trained on. If the data contains biases, the AI can end up making biased decisions. For example, an AI used in hiring might inadvertently favor certain candidates over others if it's trained on biased data. Addressing these biases is crucial to ensure that AI systems are fair and just. Jobs. As AI becomes more capable, there are concerns about its impact on jobs. Some jobs might be automated, leading to job loss in certain sectors. However, AI also has the potential to create new jobs and industries. The challenge is to ensure that the transition to an AI-driven economy is managed in a way that benefits everyone. The future of AI. The future of AI is both exciting and unpredictable. As the technology continues to evolve, it's likely to have an even greater impact on our lives. General AI. One of the big questions for the future is whether we will ever achieve general AI. Machines that can think and learn like humans across a wide range of tasks. While we're still far from this goal, researchers are making progress, and the implications could be profound. AI and creativity. 
Another exciting area is the intersection of AI and creativity. AI is already being used to compose music, write stories, and create art. In the future, we might see AI collaborating with humans in new and unexpected ways, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in creative fields. AI for good. AI also has the potential to address some of the world's biggest challenges, from climate change to healthcare. For example, AI can help scientists analyze complex climate models to better understand and mitigate the effects of global warming. In healthcare, AI could lead to breakthroughs in personalized medicine and the treatment of diseases that currently have no cure. Conclusion. In this episode, we've covered the basics of artificial intelligence, what it is, where it came from, and how it works. We've also looked at some of the ways AI is already changing our world and considered the challenges and opportunities it presents for the future. In the next episode, we'll dive deeper into one of the most exciting areas of AI, machine learning. We'll explore how computers learn from data, the different types of machine learning, and some of the key algorithms that make it all possible. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of AI. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our AI series. See you in the next episode.